Because I'm traveling a lot to bring you guys all these videos from all over the world, I get a lot of questions asking me about how I travel with gear and especially with film gear and how I deal with x-rays uh, at an airport. And this video is going to address that. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, before we get started, um, if you want to support the channel, you can pick up one of my x zines with tons of photos from all around the world. Um, pick one up until they are gone. There are not that many left. And if you're using a digital camera, you can pick up my awesome color profiles for Lightroom, which make it really easy to edit photos. Usually it takes me around 10 seconds to edit one of my photos. Um, all the links you will find in the description box down below. The number one lesson I've learned when traveling with gear is that less is more. I mean, you probably have heard about it, but it's true. And I had to learn this the hard way. A little story, um, I think it was 12 years ago, I had a vacation on the Seychelles. And I thought, hey, that's a cool location, so I have to bring lots of gear. So I did, I brought a camera and tons of lenses, a tripod and so on. And I went there and in fact, that vacation stressed me out so much that I needed a vacation afterwards because I had no idea where to put my gear because everywhere I went, um, the gear became a hustle. And even on the beach, because I couldn't just leave it on the beach and go for a swim, because there was always the potential that somebody might grab it and it's gone. So that was really, really annoying. And after that, I thought to myself, hey, okay, I will never ever do this again. And next time I will travel, I will bring less. But to be truthful, this is pretty hard. Uh, I think most of you can agree um, because the thought is usually I will bring this camera, I bring that camera and maybe this lens and that lens and then you start thinking, okay, maybe I should add this and I should add that and all the things add up and in the end you have like this massive amount of gear that you will probably not need. And one thing I've done a couple of times already is just to travel with one camera, one lens. And if it's a digital camera, of course, a couple of spare batteries. And if it's a film camera, a couple of films. And that's about it. And that was so nice to travel so light because every time I went out, I, there was no need to think about what camera to bring or what lens because I only had one camera, one lens. That was about it. And I only had one film stock. So it became really easy. I grabbed a couple of films, went out and shot. That was so nice and I didn't even bother to bring it back when I went out. So that was really, really nice and I highly suggest try this out. It's really good and um, it makes traveling so much easier. Now you packed all your gear and you're ready to go. Usually if you're flying somewhere, you go to the airport and then the question comes, do you check your bag or not? And I highly suggest never ever check your camera gear, never ever. Um, even though they will tell you, oh, it's fine, it won't be. Because I've heard so many stories about people that lost their bags or even their camera gear, that's not worth it. And even if it arrives like broken, that will ruin your vacation and that's not worth it. So never ever check your bag, I mean your camera bag. And if you follow my advice on bringing only one camera, one lens, you should have no problems whatsoever. But if you need to bring more gear, um, yes, I know, because some airlines, they only allow you maybe six kilos, eight or some maybe 12. Some airlines don't care at all. They never weigh it, but some they do. And then you might be in trouble because sometimes the camera bag itself, it might already weigh three kilograms and there's not much left for your gear. But one tip I can give you is uh, if they ask you, let them know that there's a computer inside, a laptop, batteries, uh, power banks and stuff like that because that stuff cannot be checked. So it's less likely that they will force you to check your bag. Even though you might have to talk to them for a bit, but usually this works out pretty well. Oh, and make sure to always stay polite and calm because this will help you out in the long run, that's for sure. Now, you packed your bag, you went to the counter, so your bag is now carry on luggage and now comes the security check. And when it comes to security check, most of you that shoot film want to know how I deal with x-ray machines at the airport because a lot of you are very concerned uh, about having their film ruined by some x-ray machines. 
Let me tell you, when I started out shooting film, I had no idea that uh, x-rays can have an effect on film. So I had everything in my bag and I just let it go through the machine and I didn't worry at all. After some time somebody told me, oh yeah, are you not worried about the x-ray machines? Because they can harm your film and I was like, holy shit, what am I going to do? Because I've shot a lot of films, like even pushed ones. And I was really worried that the film might be ruined. But after developing, I had no problems. I could not see any effect whatsoever. But starting from that point, I thought maybe I should ask for a hand check the next time. And I have to tell you that in probably like 95% of the time, it was not a problem because even though some machines, they will tell you it's a uh, film safe, they will still give you the opportunity to have your film hand checked. Except, yeah, there was this one instance when I went to Russia and I went to the airport and uh, I asked for a hand check and the lady it was very like old lady and she said to me Nyet! and I tried to explain to her in English but her English was very poor so she couldn't understand so I had to put the film through the machine but after all there was no issue whatsoever just recently I came back from Turkey and at the new airport in Istanbul they want you to um, if you enter the airport you have to uh, put your stuff through an x-ray machine and also the second time at the security check and I asked them both times for a hand check and even though there was a sticker on the machine telling me that it's uh, safe for film I still asked them and it wasn't a problem uh, they were a little hesitant in the beginning but then no problem at all so I had them hand check the film and what I usually do is let me get my bag is um, I use mostly if I fly and I only bring carry-on I will uh, bring my trusty Billingham bag it's very lightweight so it's perfect for traveling with gear especially if you're flying and what I usually do is I will put my film in these zipper bags because zipper bags uh, here you can look through you know exactly what's in there and also they almost weigh nothing so it's pretty much the perfect thing you can of course use um, these boxes here but for traveling I will not suggest using those because I mean I don't know the film sometimes falls out and I mostly prefer these because they're more flexible and more useful and especially at the, at the security check if you show them this bag and they recognize its film usually they will ask you oh do you want this hand checked so this works out pretty well so I highly suggest using zipper bags okay guys while editing the video I had this idea and the idea is because I have a lot of traveling lined up for this year I want to bring this roll of uh, T-Max P3200 and I will put it in my carry-on bag and I will have it go through the x-ray machine every time I fly and after a couple of trips I will shoot the roll develop it and then we will find out if x-ray machines will have an effect I have no idea what to expect so yeah let's wait for the results later this year and what you can also do is when you uh, travel with a film like I do and you shoot a lot of film is just pick your film up locally what I usually do is I bring a bunch of films but if I know um, the location where I'm going to I can find film there easily that's what I usually do I pick up film locally just on my last trip to Istanbul I bought a, a lot of films there and actually the film was cheaper there than here in Germany so that turned out pretty well so that's what I would recommend just bring a couple of films and buy the rest locally especially if you go to locations like Japan because like you can buy pretty much every film out there in Japan so I would highly suggest buying your film locally okay you packed your gear you went to the airport um, you brought your gear as a carry-on you went through a security check you should be fine right uh, yes and no because there's one thing that can happen still can happen to you and that is at the gate you know sometimes um, the flight is so full and packed with people and a lot of them have big carry-on bags and sometimes they ask you to still check your bag because there's not enough room in the overhead compartments so what I would suggest is um, when it comes to boarding be on time at the gate and try to board as quickly as possible because if you're one of the last people to board the plane and there's not 
any room left in the compartments, they will ask you to check your bag, even though it's a, a bag full of gear. And then the arguing starts again. So I highly suggest board as quickly as possible. Okay guys, that's about it. If you have further questions about traveling with gear, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And also if you have some nice stories about traveling with gear or some further tips and tricks, leave a comment down below. Uh, other than that, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and we will see each other very soon in the next video. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.